Tinkerbell the dog. And I'm her little sister, Belle. And And this this is is our podcast. podcast. Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Fierce, fabulous, fluff. Talking about stuff. Gossip pops. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Tinkerbell. And I'm Belle. And And welcome welcome to Gossip Pops. Pops. Episode four. four. Woof, woof, woof. Episode four. I it is can't February, a new it. month already. And we are here. We are still gossiping. And it's freezing. Yes, it's freezing out in New York, everyone. Finally, I mean, all of January was like, it felt like September. Yeah, so we need to talk about Groundhog Day. Yes, that was yesterday. So, okay, wait. My Groundhog question Day. Is Groundhog Day international or is it only us the um, u.s us that's a great question bell in my 11 years of living i have no clue okay well so i here's think the i thing. should look ground it up. hog day needs to stop because it's the most stupid thing on earth that there's a groundhog day because every place has to have their own groundhog And every groundhog has his own opinion, whether we're having winter or spring or summer or whatever it is. Okay, I have some information for you. Okay, go. Groundhog Day is a holiday celebrated in the United States and Canada on February 2nd each year. So I guess it's more North America. So maybe we should listen to the groundhog in Canada because ours are ridiculous. Well, I think every groundhog predicts its own... You know, it has its own prediction. So it's whatever. It is what it is. It is what it is. I think it's more for the fun and for the fortune. Fun? What kind of groundhog wants to be out in the freezing cold (laughs) trying to crawl out of a hole? I don't know. I don't even know what. And these are why there is a groundhog day. These are groundhogs that come from like a house or a shelter or a zoo. These are like groundhogs that are put in a hole to come out to say, do you see your shadow or not? I don't know. I don't really care, honestly. I just want spring to come, so hopefully this will... I, I don't know what the predictions were, even. I do. Half said half said six more weeks of winter, and the other said an early spring. That's the problem. Nobody talks and communicates and gets together on this. Apparently it's a superstition and mythology. Oh, well, it's really silly. Moving on. Yeah, I'm moving on because I don't even understand. What's the origin of Groundhog Day? I don't know, but Tink, how do your teeth feel? Oh, goodness. It's been forever since I had a teeth cleaning, and I was lucky enough to get one also yesterday. So Groundhog Day was a very busy day for us. I mean... Yeah, I'm pooped. Whew. But it happened. I went to Doggy Dental, um, and the teeth cleaner, her name is Anya, I love her. She's so sweet. Anya's the best. She mm-hmm. gives hugs and kisses. And she makes my teeth sparkle. And she doesn't hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. It takes about, I think it took around 20 minutes from the beginning to the end. And, you know. Oh my gosh. No sedation. Your... I'm awake. It's fabulous. But your before and after pictures, holy mackerel, Tink. You better <laughs> brush those teeth well, more I... often. Who? <laughs> Gosh! I mean, I'm 11. Give me a break. I'm an 11-year-old diva living her dreams. I had my teeth cleaned too, but I don't have that epic before and after because my teeth are only two years old. Yes, well, you're going to get there, Belle. I know, but... And your teeth will need a good everybody cleaning. Everybody needs to go and, and look at Tink. be a good before Tink. and after. Yeah, <laughs> but everybody needs to go and look at Tink's before and after. Yes, fine. Look at my Instagram. Make fun of my teeth. <laughs> Before and after is like... (laughs) Night and day. I think people will maybe think that human photoshopped it, but there (laughs) was no photoshopping happening. No, but it's just she does a great job and I feel so refreshed and my breath feels minty. Yeah, and the other thing is she doesn't hurt. You don't have to go to sleep. You don't go under anesthesia. There's no medication. It's just like a human goes and brushes their teeth. That's what this is. Yep. She's fabulous. Thanks for uh, definitely recommend me. if you're a small dog and 
NYC yeah. that needs a teeth cleaning. No, but she she travels too. She goes everywhere. Yeah, apparently, but more New York and Miami. Yeah, I think. I don't know. You know more about that than me, but I don't know. But she's epic. But I think you could be under 25 pounds, so that's pretty big. Yes, she does up to 25 pounds. Um, Anyone over that apparently is way too difficult to do. Yeah. But But if you're a small dog and need a teeth cleaning, definitely check out Doggy Dental. Well... Check out our Instagram. All the yeah. information's there. Go see the post because you have to see the before and after. <laughs> okay, Belle. I okay. think everyone gets it. Okay. Hey, so we got some more presents in the mail. And yes, I we just did. love getting presents. It's so exciting. We got some fabulous presents. Yeah, we got uh, three sweaters each. Three! Yes, I I prefer the, the striped sweater that yeah. we got. Oh, yeah. So fit fit. Warm sent us three sweaters each, and mm-hmm. we we both got a striped one. But you got a a white stripe, and I got a blue and white stripe. Yes. So we coordinate, but not match, which is really cool. I like that a lot. I love it. It's so comfy, perfect for you know February, March, going into spring. Yeah, and We're the other looks so classy. Yeah, the other sweaters are really nice too. One is a uh, classic black, and one is like mm-hmm. a pink. Yes. And pink's my favorite color. Yes, I know, Belle. Yeah. It's my favorite color, too, actually. Yeah, so the rest of the week... Oh, yeah, we did one other thing this week. What did we do? I can't even remember. I'm just... We shot another social media campaign partnership. We did? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, yes. But, but we won't... But we can't tell. We can't tell what it's for, but it'll be coming oh, up Oh, gosh, soon. this week was just... It's a blur, honestly. It was, it was so crowded that... And packed that that's why I'm so tired today yes it's been a rough week I cannot wait to just you know have a little downtime later today yeah and then yesterday after having our dental cleaning we went to see our friends and we did a TikTok with our dance friends yes we did that was so fun yeah we all were the cotton eye joe cotton go eye check joe. it out on TikTok yeah it was really fun I'll share it on my stories too yeah. I'll get my paws to open Instagram right now and share it. So fun. Yes. So, what's happening in the world, Ooh. Tink? Oh my goodness. What's well, happening in the Are we pop up to the culture? pop culture already? Pop culture. <laughs> yes, pop culture. I don't know. This week has been honestly a little boring, I have to be honest. Well, it was busy why. for us. It was busy for us, but like in pop culture, I just wasn't like, wow, these stories are fabulous. We must share them. But we have a couple um, that I think are interesting. So the first story I have is, do you know Vanessa Hudgens? Yes. From High School Musical? Yes, I've watched that even though it's like really old now, but I have watched it with you. Yes. Because I like those songs. It was so much fun listening to them. Mm-hmm. We're all in this together. So anyway, Vanessa Hudgens apparently is engaged to <gasps> MLB player Cole Tucker. Ooh, <gasps> a baseball player? Yes. Apparently they have taken their relationship to a whole nother level. And they're engaged. Wait, did anyone even know she was dating? I don't really know because the last person I thought she dated was the Elvis actor. Oh, yes. Austin Butler. Yes, and apparently she's the one who encouraged him to be Elvis. Oh. Yeah, I knew that. I don't know, but it says that it's unclear when exactly the question was popped, but the couple was in Paris in November. (gasps) I can't wait to go one day. Yes, we're going. Don't worry. Okay. And... They apparently have been dating since 2020. So, oh, so I guess after Austin Butler. Wait, but this is like the best kept secret in Hollywood? No one knows. No one knew. Well, apparently Vanessa's been spotted at a ton of his baseball games over the past Uh, years. So... So how did the word not spread? I don't know. Maybe it did, but I never really saw it in the headlines. But, yes, so apparently she's engaged and... Go, Vanessa. That's, Congratulations. That's mm-hmm. great. And apparently he is going to be with the Rockies this off season. What's that? So they'll probably be in Denver this oh, this year. We've been there. Yes. Wow. 
So that is some Hollywood Vanessa Hudgens high school musical huh. gossip. Amazing. Well, she really liked Denver. I liked it. Uh, I liked Vale best, but yeah. Yeah, I I prefer Vale definitely. But yeah. I but I'm happy for her. Yeah, that's nice. That'll be nice. Yeah. I hope that they stay together forever. Yeah. And she goes to every baseball game forever. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So our next story is some drama in New York City. Oh, no, drama. (laughs) Well, wait, it can't be New York without drama. Of course. So Bravo's classic Real Housewives of New York City apparently is dead. Wait, what? So the show, the Real Housewives of NYC, the legacy that they were going to be doing with all the originals, Countess Luann, um, Kelly Ben Simone, like a bunch of other people were going to be in it. Apparently it's dead. It's not happening anymore. Wow. Um, and Bravo has kind of given the axe to it. But apparently it's because that it's because contract negotiations for the show, um, there is many issues with it. Oh, and yeah, had it stalled. I bet because they all think they deserve a lot more than they should get. Maybe money wise. Yeah, and I just don't understand because, well, they are who they are. They they honestly did make the brand for a very long time, but now it's kind of coming to an end. I feel well, it's that last season was atrocious. It was tragic. It Wait, was terrible. But here's what I don't understand: Who ever told the Countess Luann that she could sing? Well, I don't think that she. Th- I mean, if she does think she can sing, good for you, honey. But I think that it's more of an act. It's more of, you know, putting on a... She's doing a show, like, for entertainment, not necessarily for vocals. No, I heard her. She <laughs> says she can sing. And I know I my, my ears might be young, but I can tell that's terrible. She can't sing. I'm sorry. And why... I understand. Okay, but we're not talking about that, Belle. Okay. Well, we're talking about why, the legacy. Maybe she wanted to sing more in the show, and they said no. and came to their senses. No, apparently it's because that, that they were negotiating the contracts, and Bravo rescinded their offers. Well, and that's it. Okay. Well, it's really sad, but I think their egos are all a little big, so maybe... This will calm their egos down a little bit because they're just not making, they they just don't have the ratings anymore. No, it was so bad. And why is it called housewives when none of them are housewives? And honestly, they're, I mean, I'm not trying to be like ageist or anything because I don't care how old you are, but they're just, they've kind of aged out a little bit, I think, of the housewives franchise in a way. Like I'm just. Well, they've aged out and they're not a housewife. (laughs) The idea of housewife is you're a housewife. They're not housewives. And that None one lady are. is crazy. I'm... <laughs> oh, she's cra- they're crazy. Her name is Ramona. She's crazy. Well, Ramona's not even doing it. Oh. It was going to be... Okay, this is the cast okay. that was going to be. They were going to have De- um, the Countess, Della Seps. Oh, she'll sing again. Sonia Morgan. Jill Zarin, Kelly Ben Simone, and Dorinda Medley, which I love Dorinda so I much. Like Dorinda. So I was happy for her. But I just think that it's not, it's just not working. It's just, it's, I, I, I don't know anymore. But I'm kind of sad to see it go completely because, you know, it's the end of an era almost. It is. These women, like. They started it. They did. Yeah, they totally started it. But and um, I'm looking forward to the girls trip. I think those shows do a lot better. Yeah, those are fun. They're very, very fun. Those are fun. I think Dorinda should have her own show, and it should take place in the Ber- Berserk Shears. Berserk Shears. Berserk Shears. I mean, she kind of did have her own show on that, the girls trip. The girls trip, but that wasn't her own. It wasn't like the show. It was just the girls trip. Mm-hmm. I would like it to would go be to the Berserk Shears to her house. Maybe. Or Blue Dorinda, Manor. send us an invite. Dorinda, we'll be there. call us. <laughs> Okay, are we moving on? Moving on. From that Bye, housewives. Housewives drama. Bye, NYC housewives. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so this is just a little um, gossip news that I found that I thought was just so cute. And since we're Swifties, Uh-oh. I thought it was interesting to bring up. <gasps> so Taylor Lautner. 
thought Kanye West's VMA's interruption yes. was a skit. Now, do we believe this? So uh, he says that he wishes he could go back to September 2009 in a podcast. He says this, how um, during the 2009 VMAs, he presented Taylor with the award and he was unaware that the Kanye West thing was not a skit. And I believe him. Yes, he said, I presented the award to her, so I have the award. I took five steps back and was standing five feet behind her. And in the middle of her giving her thank you speech, Kanye jumps up onto the stage. And he just thought that it was actually a skit and they rehearsed it. And he didn't really realize what was going on at first. I, I totally believe him because it's a situation that when things happen, you're like, oh, they must be shooting a reality show or they must be doing something. Like sometimes when we're on set, other things are going on and you think it's all supposed to be. So I think he did believe it was a skit and arranged and set up. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's hard in that situation because I don't think I would have stopped it either. Yeah, I mean, I think this also just ties back to you know, the whole Will Smith or ordeal during the Oscars. I feel like everyone was confused as well. Exactly. What was going on at first. Exactly. Everybody's like, wait, is that a reality show? Uh-huh. Yeah. Or it, th is that planned? The problem is, especially when you're in a live show, a live environment with all the people watching on TV and in person, you, your instincts react differently. Exactly. So... I don't know. I, I don't I don't blame him. And he says that when she turned around after he jumped off the stage, that he realized that it definitely was not. Yeah. But by then it was setup. already done. Yes, and it was like, done. Yeah. And then it was just awkward. Yeah. And yeah. But I mean, they did date briefly as well during that year. Yeah. They're a nice looking couple. Uh, it's all right. She moved on. Yes, Go she to moved you. on. Anyway, that was, little, that was a little, that was a little yeah. swifty news. I, I totally, I agree with him. He didn't do anything wrong. I agree with him. Mm -hmm. Okay, for our next story, this is about hot dogs, Belle, one of your favorite <gasps> snacks. Oh my gosh, that's the best smell ever. I know, I love it too. It's just fabulous. So, Oscar Mayer apparently blew off everything Everywhere, all at once. The Oscar-nominated movie. Wait, what? It was supposed to be in the movie? For a collaboration. <gasps> Why didn't they do it? Well, um, if you have not seen the movie, which I actually have not seen the movie yet, yeah. but I do know that, that apparently there is a scene with hot dog fingers. Hot dog fingers? <laughs> yes, I don't know. We, <gasps> we need to watch this movie. I would have had the best lunch oh, ever if oh. I was hot dog fingers. Hot dog fingers. I love hot dogs. Yes, so apparently um, when they were shooting this movie with the hot dog fingers, the movie reached out to Oscar Mayer to hopefully do a collaboration. They thought it would be an, a great idea. Yeah. And apparently Oscar Mayer failed to respond. <gasps> Oscar Mayer, shame on you. You mm -hmm. missed such they a missed huge opportunity. A Wait, huge collaboration. So do you know, did and they now, go to Hebrew National or Nathan's who did? <laughs> you know all the hot dogs, Bell. You bet. It's my favorite. <laughs> so apparently they did not go to anything. I don't know if it's specifically Oscar Mayer that they use in the movie. I, I don't know. I, we have to see. We have to see. Um, but I do know that... Um, that they ditched them. Wow. And never Oscar answered. Oscar Mayer, don't do it again. Yes. Never and, say no. But the thing is that apparently it was shared online by the production company. And they wrote, they showed what they wrote to Oscar Mayer. And then they made the caption, when one Oscar lets you down, another comes through. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> because they were nominated for so many Oscars, obviously. I can't imagine Oscar Wiener saying no. I don't know. I think they missed out on a big opportunity, but it's Huge. gone. It's over. 
Bye. Bye. Bye, Oscar. <laughs> Bye, <Yeah>. Oscar. <laughs> yes. But, so that was, I thought, now very might, interesting. Wait, wait, um, Oscar might want to uh, send some hot dogs this way. Maybe. Yeah. Oscar Mayer, we'd love to collab. Yeah, the best. <laughs> and it just goes to show that, you know, you shouldn't, I don't know, not respond to people sometimes. Exactly. Because you never know. That's what human says. Just like, did you hear that story about Katy Perry? How they approached her with Billie Eilish, this new song. They said, oh, this girl, she has a new song. It's called Ocean Eyes. You should definitely collab with her. Let's do something with her. And Katy Perry apparently listened to the song and said, oh, it was just a blonde girl and a boring song. I don't oh. want to collab. What? And then look what happened to Billie Eilish. Oh, Katy. Oh, Katie. Katie, Katie. She okay. also said, don't share the story, but apparently the story went uh, yeah. viral anyway. That, that was getting out. That <laughs> was getting out. If you, if Katy Perry says no to Billie Eilish, that's getting out. She didn't know at the time that she would blow up like she did. Well, she should have said yes. There mm-hmm. too. Katie and Oscar, you should have said yes. 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 Oh, but that is my pop culture. Excellent, Tink. Oh, thank you, Belle. Thank you. I just tried to find such interesting stories, and I thought the hot dog one was just fabulous. Well, it's perfect because I love hot dogs. <laughs> I knew you'd enjoy it. So, you're ready for the pop culture? Um, Yes, I need some pop culture in okay. my life because this Friday has just been, oh, it's just so hard for me today. Well, I need a massage or something. Well, maybe later. But anyway, ready? So this one is kind of like um, a follow-up, I guess you call it, to something that we've already talked about. So if you've listened to our first couple of podcasts, it might have even been the first one. Anyway, so here's the first story. What is this story? I am, wait, I'm going to tell you. So a 30-year-old pup from Portugal has been named the world's oldest dog just days after the last canine, and he took yes. the title from our friend Spike. Spike. Yeah, Spike's 23 years old, and he's a chihuahua, and he was named... Well, I think we talked about this last week. Was it last week? or? <laughs> I think so. I, I don't know. These blur together for me, but they did. We did talk about it, because I remember Spike, the chihuahua, 23, got the world record. Yes, yeah, so now so, he's already been dethroned? Of yeah, course, he's Spike. Out. Spike is out Poor because Spike. Spike got the record on January 19th, but then on February Someone came second, out of the woodwork. Bobby, a 30-year-old, came out of the woodwork. 30? He's 267 days old in February 2nd, so he's much older than Spike. Wait. And He's what? 30 years and 267 days old oh, as of okay. February 2nd. I was like, wait, so there's not even 267 Spike, days in a year. And he's got the new record. And no one knows his secret of how he's been living so long. But his family is very humble, happy, and grateful to have Bobby in their lives. Wow, Bobby has seen three decades. Yeah, he's amazing. He's 30. He looks pretty good. If you see some pictures online, go Bobby. Oh, but poor Spike. He poor had Spike. his he had his um plaque and he posed with it and it yeah. was so cute, I remember. I know. And now here's look at Bobby. Well, Bobby. Go Bobby. I I still prefer Spike. Sorry, Bobby. Yeah. So that's well, Bobby has to win. I mean, it is an honor to be the yes. oldest dog on earth. I understand, but it's just yeah. I don't know. I was so happy for Spike and that yeah. photo. He's smiling in it, and Bobby doesn't look yeah, very Bobby's happy. Yeah, Bobby's not very happy. <laughs> Bobby's just like, take the photo. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Are we out of here yet? <laughs> I gotta get them dinner. <laughs> Serious, that's what I he can. looks like. He's, he, he's like stone cold. <laughs> yeah, Bobby's... He's, <laughs> Bobby's not uh, enjoying his achievement and his honor. Bobby needs to get back to sleep. He's like, I don't do photos. (laughs) What is that voice, (laughs) Val? It's Bobby. (laughs) He's from Portugal. Maybe he has an accent. 
Oh, don't give the accent. I no. won't. <laughs> okay, don't. <laughs> okay, this is Next really, story, please, Belle. Really good. Okay. That was a great story. Thanks. <laughs> it's a kind of a follow-up. So that's kind of like pop pop culture and pop culture all together. Combined. Oh, okay, anyway, moving on. So this is really fun because we travel. We love to travel. Yes. So this couple saved up. $45,000 to take their Great Dane, Golden Retriever, and Dachshund on a private jet trip. But we're not just talking a one-way little trip. What are we talking about here? So they're from Austin, Texas. They chartered a $100,000 jet for their three dogs and themselves, it's two humans, to go traveling through Europe. Oh my goodness. Who they, are these owners? They always dreamed about traveling through Europe with their three dogs. Their Great Dane Lucas is two, Golden Retriever Cooper is 15, and the Dachshund Mix, named Brooklyn, very cute, is six. They live in Austin, Texas, saved for two years to turn their dream into a reality. They sold most of their belongings, including what? their car, to fund this adventure. Oh, my goodness. The rest of the bill for the jet plane was covered by other pet owners who wanted to try to take their pets to Europe as well that were encouraging these three people, these three dogs and their two humans to do this. So they went all over Europe. They visited six countries, France, Germany, Austria, Czech, England, Scotland. They oh. jetted all over Europe. Europe. And look, there's pictures of this giant Great Dane on this plane. Oh, he's, he's in his huge. own private jet. Yeah. And they stayed at all dog friendly Airbnbs along the way. And they're not going to stop traveling until November of 2023. And then at that time, they'll hold, head back to Austin, Texas. Wow. That yeah. is fabulous. Yeah. Living, look the, at this guy. living the high life. Oh, he has a baguette in front of the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. He's as big as the Eiffel Tower. That's adorable. Yeah. So it, it's crazy. It took three months of planning and cost $11,000 per oh, person. Oh, my goodness. And the flight was over $100,000 for the whole flight. Well, but then when they I mean, went, I guess if they raised the money themselves and that's what they wanted to do with it and good for them. Yeah. And then while they were. I have to be honest. I'm a little jealous. I mean, I, know. I, would, I would love to be on a private it sounds amazing. Traveling all over Europe. And then they also took um, trains and cars around also. Well, they're still on their trip. Yeah, and they're not done. It's amazing. It's that amazing. That sounds very fun. Yeah. And fabulous. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't take us. I like how the article is positive because I feel like a lot of people would be negative. I mean, and just... They, there's probably rude comments under that. <laughs> probably, but I'm not reading them because... This just shows Whatever that you, if pets, that's what you dogs do, are your family. Yes, and I mean, if you save the money and that's what you want to do with your money and you want to have this experience with your dogs, then you do it and you own it. Exactly. And you, and take, you enjoy your life. You see epic things, you gain culture, you gain epic content. <laughs> yes. And I'm going one day. On a private jet? Yes, we are. On a private jet and to Europe. I'm manifesting. Yeah. Well, you've been, so I'm jealous of you. Okay, well, we, we're going to get there. Don't worry. Yeah, I hope so. I know. Well, I know so. Don't hope so. I know so. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So I've got one more story, Tink. One more. Oh, cannot wait for this one. And this Those is... two were so sweet, actually. Yeah. Those two stories. Thanks. I mean. Well, this one is fun because it kind of is very timely. It's about the Super Bowl. Oh, yes. I love watching that ball going back and forth on the screen. Yeah. And no, we're not going to the Super Bowl, so it's not about us. Mm -hmm. But the actor, Miles Teller, became... Oh, a, from the Top Gun? Yeah. <gasps> Top Gun Maverick. Yes. Became a total stage dad when including his dog in his Super Bowl ad. <gasps> oh, a commercial. His dog... Bugsy is ready Bugsy. for his TV debut. 
Bugsy's going to be in the Super Bowl commercial yes. with Miles. So Miles and his wife were asked to be in a Super Bowl commercial for Bud Light. Mm-hmm. And they said to include Bugsy. Oh, I cannot wait. Can you watch the commercial or no? We can watch a trailer, a little tease of it. Yeah, but he said that um, we'll he watch and his wife, Kaylee, who's um, a set designer, they, they did it in their own house and that he became very protective of his bulldog that made the appearance and um, she was mostly very good but sometimes stubborn and didn't want to do the acting stuff. Oh, a diva. Yeah. A hardcore diva doggy. Yeah, but that's amazing that um, he said that Bugsy doesn't get a SAG card yet because they're not allowed to join the union. No, and we we're know not about allowed that. to join yeah. the union, I know. Yeah, but we know all about that too, yeah. so But good we for don't Bugsy. We have unions, but go Bugsy. Be yes. in that Bud Light Super Bowl commercial. And you throw those diva fits. Yeah. You, you deserve it. That's right. You, you should have all the stubborn. treats. All the treats, all the breaks you want. We mm-hmm. get you, Bugsy. Exactly. We're on the same page as you. <laughs> oh, so, so is that your last story? That's it. Wow. Yeah, that's it. That's the last story you've got. Oh, we are such gossip pups. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so, fabulous. This was a great one. Yes. Yeah, so I think, are we done? We're going to, uh, oh, I think so. Yeah. I think that everyone listening should make sure to listen, download, like, and subscribe. And, and give, give us five paws, five paws up. up. Also, Sorry, let's do that again. Okay. Go ahead, Belle. You say it. Give us five paws up. There we go. Five paws up, everyone. Yeah, and also... If you have any questions for us, like maybe about our clothing, how we travel, our favorite food, um, how we get along as sisters. Or if you need any advice. Yeah. Just send us an email, gossippups at gmail.com. Yes. Gossippups at gmail.com. And we didn't have enough time to answer any emails this time. No, we're going to do it next week, I think. Sorry, everybody. Yes. Don't be mad at us. We'll get to them. Yes, we're going to get to them, but please send more. Send everything you want to that email. Gossippups at gmail.com. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so happy happy weekend. weekend. XOXO. Woof. Fierce, fabulous, woof. Talking about stuff. Gossip Pops. Fierce, fabulous, woof. Talking about stuff. Gossip Pops. <laughs>